Alright guys, so for my first non-series tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make glass in Eevee because uh, it took me a while to figure this out. I had to watch a tutorial online, but some of it didn't help. But with a little, a little bit of tweaks here and there, I found out the best way to make glass in Eevee. So I'm going to teach you guys today. Alright, so teaching you guys this, I'm going to be using my Corvette 3D model. I'm going to use its headlight. So if I hide this, you can see the interior of the headlights right right here. Okay, so let me just press Alt and H. I'm going to take this and uh, let me see. Alright, so let's change this back to... I'm using EV render engine right now, okay, so real-time rendering. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go over to the materials panel and uh, let me just minimize this real quick. Come on. Um, I want to add in a new material. Uh, we can call it whatever we want, but I want to leave it at material. And let me just split the view right here. Okay. So this is something I was working on for an upcoming animation. Just an image I'm looking at to, you know, create uh, the scene that I needed. So I'm just going to minimize this. I'm going to change this to the material or the shader editor. And yeah. So this is the new material we added in. Okay, so right here we're gonna inch, we're going to increase the transmission all the way to one. Okay, full one. And we're gonna decrease the roughness to zero. So right now we have the glass going on, but it's pretty. How do I call it? It's sort of like a. It's it's like a thick glass with with no um, with a very high refraction. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first let's change this to the right amount of. Uh, I mean uh, the. Uh, IOR of a glass which I know is 1.5 I'm not sure but I know it's 1.5 so I'd like to use the accurate value so I'm going to type in 1.5 like that to get the uh, the IOR that is a uh, index of refraction if I'm right yeah of glass so now with that done let's go over to the scene panel here or whatever the name is I think render panel here let's go down to is it render panel yeah, so enable screen space reflection and enable refraction. By default, yours should be disabled, so just enable it. And I'll go over to the materials panel, scroll down all the way to here, and enable screen space reflection. All right, so once you enable that, you can see the glass is working very nice now. Okay, so you can use this to control the refraction depth. Okay, so it depends on how much you want to use for this. You can see as I as I as I increase this, the refraction kind of like increase. So let me try point two. That is too much. Let me see point one. Yeah. So you can see it's sort of like refracting very highly. So if you have a big value and it's going to refract so much, you're not going to be able to see anything. Okay. So try to reduce the refraction as much as possible. Reduce it down. I would like to keep it zero, but you can try maybe point zero zero one. That could work for you. When zero zero one seems seems like it's going all the way too far. So just let me see zero. Let me try point one, maybe. Point one is too much. So let's see point zero five. Okay, point zero five is way better. Okay, because if you send this all the way to point zero five, also seems to be way too close to the surface. Let's drop this to zero again. So zero might actually be the best. Keeping it at zero might actually be the best. So you can just keep it at zero, like that. So yeah, that is the tutorial I have for you guys on making glass in Eevee. I can take this. I'm gonna go into what do you call it? Yeah, this mode, and you can see. So you can change the refraction depth to your liking. So you can see when I increase it. Take a look at here. When it's at zero, you can see the refraction is pretty high compared to the background of the HDR we have on okay so if you increase this you can see now matches the background of the HDR very nicely that is with a huge uh, refraction depth okay but if I drop this you can see it increases so it depends on how far your object it is refracting is from the glass okay so just tweak this based on the distance of the object is refracting from the glass okay I want to say that again based on the distance of the object it's refracting is from the glass okay in the view in the uh, direction you're viewing it from so with this being the 
HDR being the background, you are going to have to you're going to use a bigger refraction depth. But if the thing is very close, then you're going to use a much smaller refraction depth. That was why if I go back to local view, you can see since it's close, I'm going to keep it very low. But if it's if I increase this, you can see it goes all the way too far, and that isn't what we want. So yeah, you can have fun now. Create your own glasses. Hopefully, I helped you guys, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I mean, this is not a series, so when I say next video, I mean whatever video I release next. Alright, goodbye.